G'day Sawdust Makers, Ryan here again with another awesome Easy Craig project that you're going to love. And that is these indoor pot plant stands. Now indoor plants are a core part of any healthy home. And these look great, very easy to build. The plans will be linked below and you'll be able to knock them up in a day. So let's go. So I've gone down to the big box store and got four long lengths of 42mm by 42mm pine. As a personal preference, I've chosen pieces that have large knots and other imperfections because personally I like that kind of character. So then we get started measuring the legs so we can get cutting. Now I think you're going to be quite surprised at just how straightforward this project is. It's a number of long legs, some cross braces and some shorter cross braces. And with your Craig jig, that's basically it. And now it's time for the star of the show, the K5. And it tells us that because we're using 42mm thick timber, we're going to need the 64mm Craig screw. So as always, it's very important to take the couple of minutes and accurately set your jig for the job at hand. This, of course, is making sure the drill guide and the stop collar on the drill bit are set to the thickness of the timber that you're working with. But I don't need to tell you this, you know exactly how to use a Craig jig. Now we're all set up, ready to go. We've got the vacuum cleaner into the vacuum cleaner port and the K5 is alive. Very easy work drilling those pocket holes. And like I said before, essentially, apart from four legs, you've got cross braces, which are made of longer pieces and shorter pieces. And they're the only parts you need to drill into. This is a very quick project. Now when you're drilling the pocket holes into the shorter sections of the cross braces, the pocket holes actually overlap. Now this doesn't affect its structural integrity. It isn't a problem. It just looks a little bit weird, but we're also not gonna see it. So it's not a problem at all. And we keep going. So then we just line up our short and longer pieces of our cross braces, clamp that down tightly, and then start driving in our 64mm coarse thread pocket hole screws. Look at that. They look really cool. I told you this was straightforward. And then we give it a light sand. Then we line up the cross braces with the legs and we start driving the pocket hole screws into those. And it's really starting to come together. Sometimes you'll find yourself driving pocket hole screws into very tight spaces so it's always handy to have a shorter length drive bit for times like this check those out they look so cool and now it's time to finish the job so i'm going to use pure tongue oil which is just going to make the grain absolutely sing and these just look so good one of the great things about these pot plant stands, and I did say that the plans will be linked below, but they're completely customizable. You can try different types of timbers, you can paint them, you can cut different angles on the top or on the bottom. This is such a fantastic project. They look great. It only took a couple of hours to put it together and the materials were inexpensive. That's a total win. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Ryan from Oz Sword Us Makers, and I'll be back again soon with more cool Craig creations for Carbotech and Craig Australia. Oh, gee, that was a mouthful.